Day 11 of the build is due to start tomorrow. Now before I get to that, I want to do a little video on problem solving. If you do a project like this yourself, I guarantee something's going to go wrong. Either that or something's going to go not quite the way you hoped it would. So I thought I'd show you some examples of solutions that I've come up with for problems that I've encountered. And even if you don't come across the exact same problems, just seeing someone go through the process might help you. All right, here's the first cell problem. Now, when we were putting in the lower wall sheet here, uh, we were trying to keep a little bit of a gap so that the, uh, the sheet didn't actually touch the concrete. But we have a little bit of a problem here where there's a bulge. So I don't know how this happened. I think there must have been a little bit of material or some kind of object or something under there when we put the sheet down. And this bit here bulged out. Now, at the moment, because that's pressing so hard against the concrete, it means that this wall is not isolated from the concrete anymore. It's connected. So I've got to get rid of that. I've got to um, disconnect the wall from the concrete again before it's going to be soundproof. So I'm going to use a, a little um, multi-tool and cut you know, a few millimeters gap all the way along. Alright, here's the next little problem. You might have noticed up around the top corners of the room here, there's this blue border. And that's not really supposed to be there. You might remember in one of my earlier videos, I described the way the plasterboard from the ceiling was going to meet directly with the plasterboard from the walls. But we've got this great big piece of wood in the way. Now the reason this has happened is because Dean, my builder, um, in order to put this room up very quickly, he, pre he prefabricated the walls and he also prefabricated this special beam, which actually has pre-cut joist um, segments in it. Now he did that so we could put the whole thing together very quickly, but what it meant was that the plasterboard had to stop at that beam. Now I can seal that up and I can seal that up so there's no problem with soundproofing at all, but cosmetically it looks a little strange. So it just means all we've got to do is put a little cornice of some kind in like that um, later on just to make it look pretty but um, yeah we had a little panic about that first and then we realized it's really no big deal okay next problem when we we're installing these ventilation silencer boxes we realized that we'd actually not allowed enough space for them to fit now that might sound crazy you might think surely we would have just measured it and planned it <laughs> from the beginning and we thought we had but somehow we forgot to account for uh, the width of the gyprock that was going to go here. I'm not sure how that happened, but maybe it's because gyprock normally goes on the other side of the wall. So we just kind of forgot about it. We, we just left out that measurement of 32 mil. The other thing is that the silencer box has a special gasket that's added onto the outside, which adds another 16 mil. So when you add it all together, it didn't fit. So we did a couple of things to fix that. First thing was, down here we kind of staggered the um, uh, the stud wall here so that's the bottom plate and normally this part here would be sitting right on top of it but we actually shifted it back a little bit to make room now that worked really well and everything fits now but it's very tight let me show you if you look up here you'll see that there's only three millimeters of clearance between the outside wall and the gasket on the silencer box but it's been this way for about a week or two and it hasn't moved and hopefully it never will. Here's another little problem you probably would never have foreseen. Look at this poor little fella down here. He's caught in the green glue. I'm gonna have to try and get him out. My little friend the water dragon is back from the vet. He's been all cleaned up. They told me that they used warm soapy water and uh, he's all good to go back into the wild. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Apparently he is ready to be unleashed.
Oh, oh, there he is. I don't think he quite wants to go yet. <laughs> Come on, man. You're free. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> Off you go. Good on you, mate. <laughs>